Today we're in my kitchen because I'm going to be showing you two of my favorite DIYs for curl health. If you've seen my latest video on hair health and healthy hair growth, you'll know that I've been focusing more on breakage and just strengthening my hair. Because postpartum hit me hard and it affected my hair so much, I lost a lot of it. The volume of my hair changed because I lost so much hair. And as my hair was growing, it was growing very choppy. So I had to cut my hair more often than usual. Today my hair has recovered a lot. My hair is no longer abnormally falling out and it's much healthier and now I'm in the recovering stage where I can finally allow my hair to grow longer without having to cut it as often. And these two recipes are two of my favorite things to do because it helps with the maintenance of my hair. It helps prevent breakage. Therefore, I have to cut my hair less often and I can finally let it grow. But I know not everyone's goal is to have long hair. So even if you don't care to have super long hair, you do want healthy, strong hair. And that's what it's all about. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, let's get into it. The two recipes I'll be showing you guys today is one, my hair growth oil updated version because as you guys may know, if you've been following me for a long time, in 2015, I made a video on my iconic hair growth oil that really did work. Before that video was banned by YouTube and restricted by YouTube, it's not, it's not as serious as it sounds. It was just a music legality issue after years of it being up. I don't know, YouTube restricted the video in many countries. Therefore, it's not visible anymore to you guys, but it is visible to me and some other people. Before the video got restricted, it reached almost a million views. And so many of you till this day have been messaging me about that hair growth oil. And because you can't see the video, you guys haven't been able to make it again. So I wanted to create an updated version, a better version than that one. Thank you, YouTube, for removing my video and inspiring me to make it again. <laughs> So do not worry because today's version, the version I make today is much better than the 2015 version. So you're not missing out. The second DIY that I'll be making is a flaxseed hair gel. I did this recipe one other time on my channel many, 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 many ages ago. When I first started my channel, I don't even know if that video is still up, but I remember really enjoying that gel. I just want to make it again today and show you guys a good version, a version that I've tested and a version that I think will work for everyone. Where it's not too liquidy, not too thick, perfect consistency, perfect amount of flaxseed, perfect amount of water, and a little touch of lavender, which is optional. We're gonna start with my hair growth oil because that is the first thing that we would be using anyway. The hair growth oil is something that you use as a scalp massage before every time you wash your hair. You can leave it in for an hour or more if you like while you do other things in the house and then wash it as usual with your regular shampoo. For the hair growth oil, all you will need is a dispenser bottle like this one. I prefer this one because it has the measurements on here, which makes it much easier to know the amount that you're adding of each oil and what it's accumulating to and a little funnel. It's not super necessary, you can do it without the funnel, but it just makes things easier. I'll link everything down below. Everything I'll be using this video will be linked down below so that you can easily find it and easily shop. I always like starting with castor oil because it's the thickest oil out of the bunch. Castor oil is vitamin E rich, known for strengthening follicles and preventing hair loss, breakage, and split ends. Lots of cultures swear by this oil for hair growth, so I'm adding one and a half ounce of this oil. And just so you know, you don't have to use the brands I'm using here. You can also find store-bought brands like this one at Whole Foods or Target. But again, everything will be linked down below. Next up is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is the most versatile oil to use full body because of how compatible it is to our human body. It's the closest oil to our own human body's oil structure, which makes it amazing for skin, including scalp care. I'm adding one ounce and then grabbing my fenugreek oil, which is probably the most successful oil to use in wanting to achieve hair growth and reducing hair loss. It's very nourishing to our scalp and follicles and strengthens the hair so much. So I'm adding one and a half ounce of this one. Now moving on to argan oil, which is known for promoting elasticity to our hair, which makes it stronger and less prone to breakage as well as protecting the hair from damage. So I'm adding one ounce of argan oil. Next is avocado oil, which is one of the most nourishing oils for hair because it's rich in vitamin E and oleic acid, making it highly beneficial to increase elasticity, stimulate hair growth, and prevent breakage. So I'm adding one ounce of avocado oil. 
Now, rosehip oil, which is actually my favorite skin oil for my face because it's helped even my skin tone and reduce scarring. But it's also super softening for all skin on your body, including your scalp. Because it naturally contains fatty acids like omega-3 and 6 and linoleic acid to help strengthen hair. So I'm adding one ounce. And the last carrier oil I'm using is almond oil, which is high in B vitamins and potassium, which helps circulation and nourishing the scalp follicles as you stimulate this oil on your scalp. I'm adding one ounce. Now, as you can see here, we have some extra room on top to add any other beneficial oil, any of these oils that you want to add benefit to. But before we do that, we're gonna add a scalp stimulating essential oil like cinnamon or rosemary or lavender, all which helps stimulate blood flow to your scalp to promote hair growth. My favorite one to use is rosemary, so that's what I'm using today because it's refreshing and I love how stimulating it feels on my scalp. I'm adding about 20 drops to mine and just shake it up and it's ready to use. It actually smells pretty good. It doesn't smell bad at all. Now with the extra room, you can add an other ounce of whichever one of these oils you find most beneficial or you feel you want more of. I forgot to press record here on mine, but I added a little more fenugreek to mine, but you can add whichever one, it's up to you. Now for a very nutritious, rich in omega fatty acids, flaxseed gel. We're gonna need 600 millimeters of water, which is basically two and a half cups of water. I used filtered water. I prefer filtered water, but you can use whatever water you want. And you're gonna need a quarter cup of flaxseed, which is basically two ounces. So add your water and your flaxseed, then turn on your stove on medium-high heat. Give it a light stir and in a few minutes you'll begin to see it boiling. Keep lightly stirring it for about two minutes or so, then lower your heat just a little bit. At this point I switch to a spoon to begin checking the consistency of my gel. The longer you boil the seeds, the thicker the gel will be. The less you boil, the more watery it'll be. I don't want it to be super thick, but also not very watery at all. What I look for is the gel to be very stringy, like melted cheese, because as it cools, it will thicken on its own. So I don't want it to look too thick while it's hot in the pot. I want it to still be scoopable, like with a spoon, so that it's slightly runny, because as it turns into room temperature, it will thicken on its own. And now that I have the perfect consistency, I remove it from the heated slot and let it cool off for at least 30 minutes so that I don't burn my hands later when I start squeezing the gel out of the seeds. Now to begin straining your gel, you can use pantyhose over a large cup or bowl or use a nut milk bag, which I consider to be the best option because it's stronger, easier to squeeze and less likely to break. You'll see why later in a minute. So now that my gel is cooled off, I'm just gonna put this all in. As you can see, it's even thicker as it cooled off, like I said. So you're just, gonna, you're just gonna put it all inside. And obviously don't let any of this go to waste. Take everything out of your pot and put it in the pantyhose. And then start squeezing. Basically, that's all there is to it. And I'm using the pantyhose first to show you why this isn't the better option. But this, if, if pantyhose are all you have, go ahead and use it. This is better than nothing, of course. If this is all you have, this is a good way to squeeze out as much as you can. Um, but if you have a nut milk bag, if you can get one, that is the better option. And I'll show you why in a second. But as we start getting to the end, it starts getting tougher and I wanna take out all of that gel. And what happens is that it tends to break. And I hate when that happens <laughs> because I'm squeezing out as much as I can and the pantyhose aren't as strong. But nothing to worry about, that's okay. So we're gonna take everything that was in the stocking um, and put it in my nut milk bag and continue from there. Take everything that I can out from it, um, which made it easier now because it broke. So I squeezed everything out. And now we're gonna continue with the nut milk bag to show you how much better it is and it never ever breaks. And I was able to squeeze out more from the nut milk bag that left it completely dry yeah that's why it's so much better i'm going to be using about 10 or 12 or 15 drops of lavender essential oil which is very calming and also said to help with hair loss so that's why i'm using this one and i also enjoy the smell of lavender a lot it adds a really nice scent to the flax seed. Um, you can add it at this point and then start using your funnel to insert the flax seeds and slowly start pushing it down so that it you know, goes through smoothly, little bits at a time, not all at once, of course.
As you can see here, this made the perfect amount of flaxseed for me. This bottle holds eight ounces, which is perfect for weekly use and to preserve it. If you want, you can add labels to yours to make it more official and pretty looking in your bathroom, but you don't have to, of course. All right, now let's start the weekly scalp massage ritual. I'll be using the DIY hair growth oil that we made today to stimulate my scalp once a week before every time I cleanse my hair. So this is meant to be done before shampooing, you guys. This bottle has a dispenser spout, which makes it super easy to dispense onto your scalp portion by portion as you massage it in until each area of your scalp is oiled. I like starting from the bottom of my head um, and sectioning off the top to leave that last and I start massaging it in little by little not focusing on massaging too much right now because we're gonna do intense massage like for five minutes or so when I'm done oiling my entire scalp and you can also run it towards the ends of your hair if you like it's also beneficial for your ends but you don't have to you could just focus it on your scalp if that's what you want to focus on just saying it's also beneficial for your entire hair as well now that I've oiled my entire scalp, I'll focus on massaging my scalp to stimulate and promote blood flow for at least five minutes. You can massage your scalp for more, longer than five minutes if you like. That's also gonna be beneficial, but as long as you do it for five minutes, that's great. And in this one use today, I only used about one and a half ounces of this oil. So if you're using it on a weekly basis before cleansing your hair like I am, this bottle should last you six to eight weeks. So that's pretty good. The best way to create blood flow and stimulate your scalp is actually by flipping your head upside down. This is the best way to promote hair growth. But for the purpose of showing you what I'm doing in this video, I didn't really get to do that for a long time, but make sure that you at home do it for at least a few minutes. And after you're done, you can gather your hair up. Don't worry, nobody's gonna know, nobody's gonna know. As long as you leave it in your hair for at least 30 minutes before shampooing or wrap your head in a head scarf and leave it on overnight and wash it out the next day. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna do this part quickly because I have to go. I just finished packing. We're going on a family trip. Um, my suitcase is ready and I need to get ready very fast. So we're gonna do this quick. I was not going to apply a leave-in. I was just gonna test this with just the gel, but I don't have time to do that right now. I know a lot of people who have 3C hair types and 4A that use this flaxseed gel homemade, on its own, no leave-in, and they love the results. I've seen so many beautiful results. It creates like this shine and really great definition. So I'm sure that if someone with 3C and 4A hair type can use this on its own, of course I can too. I have a 3B hair type. I'm sure it can come out amazing just with this. I have never done that before. I do plan on testing that in the near future, the next time I use it. But I'm used to using the Flaxy Gel with a leave-in in my hair. So today I'm just using a light leave-in. This is the milk leave-in conditioner. It's supposed to be like an anti-frizz leave-in that I love. I love how light weight this is. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this, not even a lot, and just run this through my hair. I'm using this much for my entire hair. It's dripping. And breaking it in with my fingers. And now our gel and it smells very good it smells like lavender of course but it's a very light scent so for those of you who have sensitivities to scents or certain smells you will like this because you can control how much essential oil you add or you could not add any essential oil if that's what you prefer I feel like I could style this just like this with my fingers and dry it this way but I'm going to use my Denman brush because it's what I would usually do. At this point, I'm gonna let this air dry for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes, and then I'm going to diffuse my hair and show you guys the results. All right, I'm showing you guys these results, these amazing results with no makeup on because I am leaving in a second. We're traveling. We're going to dinner later tonight and I will be doing my makeup then. So I'd rather not have makeup on right now. 
So anyway, these results are everything. I am not surprised, but more excited. I've actually never used flaxseed gel within a wash and go styling like this. I've only ever used the flaxseed gels that I've made in the past many years ago for up -dos and like just to have my hair up and away and like have it be treated with flaxseed for the benefits of the flaxseed, but never to keep my hair styled and down. And I honestly do not know why I never tested it in this way. I also don't know why would I buy other gels? I mean, I know that you have to make this one yourself. The shelf life may be inconvenient for a lot of people because you have to make it and, and because there's no preservatives in it, no real preservatives in it, you have to be careful with something like that and how long you would keep it and really make it at your own convenient time. I'm loving these results. It looks amazing. There's a shine to it, even though I didn't add any oil or anything else to this flaxseed except for lavender essential oil. I probably added like 10 drops. You can add more and you can even add some of the hair oil to your flaxseed gel just a little bit, depending on your hair type. Not everyone would want to do that. It all depends on your hair type. If you have a thicker hair type than I do, then you would benefit a lot by adding a little bit of the oil to your flaxseed gel after it's made, and then also add some essential oils of your choice. Because from the research I've done and what I've looked into, if you add rosemary or lavender essential oil, you can actually preserve this in the fridge for up to three weeks, and that's refrigerated three weeks refrigerated. That is the estimate amount of what you can preserve it if you're adding essential oil. But if you're choosing to leave it on your counter and use it often like I am, this would generally preserve on its own on the counter for a week max. And that's just an estimate. A week would be the generalized uh, amount of time that you can keep it on your counter before it goes bad. I'm actually gonna test this. I'm gonna do my own test and keep it here longer than a week just to see what happens, just to see the, the smell changes, just to see if it feels different, but I'm not sure, 100% sure yet. I'm gonna keep making this gel and using it in my hair because the benefits are amazing for strengthening your hair, preventing breakage, therefore allowing your hair to grow longer and stay healthy. I hope you guys try this gel out Try my recipe. If you're sensitive to essential oils, don't use any essential oil and this will stay unscented. But keep in mind, the essential oils do help preserve this a little bit longer. So I do recommend using the essential oils into your recipe, but you don't have to. It's up to you. And if you're someone that's not gonna be using it as often as I am on a daily basis, you can put it in your fridge and just take it out whenever you're gonna use it. So it can preserve for three weeks max. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and if you know someone who's struggling with their hair who wants simplicity and wants to do something at home, share the video because I'm telling you this hair oil is amazing for hair growth, for preventing breakage and stimulating the follicles in your scalp so that your hair can grow longer as well as the flaxseed to style your hair, keep the curls looking nice and luscious and bouncy and very defined and shiny which is amazing. I'm, I'm, Cannot stress enough how much I'm loving this. I hope you guys really do try it out. Let me know down below in the comments which one you guys like best and which one you will be trying out, whether you try both of them or just one. Try it, let me know down below. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts on this. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye, sunshines. Adios.